it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Feels like it's been a while since I have seen you and that is because it has been. My husband and I actually just got back from a 10 day trip. We took a trip for our 15 year anniversary. It's something we've been planning for almost a year and so it was a very big deal. Biggest trip we've ever taken. It was one of those bucket list type trips. So I've been kind of planning and preparing for that in the background as I've been doing all my fall decorating and it's been booked forever but it's one of those things where I knew it was coming and then it was all of a sudden here. It came so fast and I didn't feel ready. Anyways, we had a wonderful time. I actually did end up vlogging that trip and so I'm gonna wait and reveal where we went in that video which will probably be the next one that you see. We'll break up some of this fall content and share a travel vlog so hopefully you're looking forward to that but anyways I'm still kind of adjusting back to our time so it's I'm pretty tired right now but I thought today it would be so much fun to just do a fall vlog at home do some baking some decorating and we'll see where the day brings us so I actually just dropped the kids off at school and I'm sitting in the Walmart parking lot I did get groceries delivered yesterday we just got back yesterday so groceries were delivered but I forgot a few things I had ordered it before we got home so there's a few extra things I want to grab and then also some things for a recipe that I want to bake with you today so I'm gonna head into Walmart see what we can find and I may go to Hobby Lobby we'll, we'll see how successful it is in Walmart I'm not sure if you've seen the candle section at Walmart lately but these like unscented pillar candles I was just looking at these taper ones they are so cute i actually bought these last time i was here haven't used them yet but they're just like really fun unique shapes love them but yeah they have lots of colors i'm down to the last thing i need maple syrup like i'm gonna do the pure for this recipe why is it so expensive like this is this is probably the cheapest one i'll have to check the reviews make sure it's okay i'm sure it's fine no. So expensive though. Nine dollars for a bottle of syrup. I did find everything that I needed though, so we are out of here. Leave it to Crystal to pick the worst parking spot possible for <laughs> recording a video. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. I'm outside Hobby Lobby though, going ahead and I think I might just, oh what? Come on, seriously. I wonder, there, we're gonna do that. I think I'm just going to hit all my favorite hot spots in this little area. So I did Walmart. I'm at Hobby Lobby. I might also go to Aldi as well. Yesterday I did a Target run. So then I'll have all my local hot spots taken care of. But yeah, I see. I came back from this vacation just like ready. I feel like, like I'm back. Let's just decorate everything. So let's go into Hobby Lobby. I have a couple of things I'm looking for. Some stems as well as I want to look at their taper candles. I have no idea if they're even on sale this week but I just want to compare those to the ones I saw in Walmart. I also wanted to look for the like the paper coffee to go cups. I don't know if they're paper but you know what I mean. So I'm going to bring the kids to the pumpkin patch this weekend. I just bought some hot chocolate and I thought they would get a kick out of each making their own hot chocolate before we head out there because it's it's cooled off here. I don't know where you're at but today right now it's 55 but it's windy and cloudy and it's it's chilly out so it's definitely hot chocolate season. So I'm gonna see if they have that kind of stuff too for our little pumpkin patch adventure. So let's go into Hobby Lobby. I grabbed a shopping cart so that means I'm probably not going to find anything. Has that ever happened to you? Should have left it at the door. I really like these but I'm going to put them back. I don't know that I have a spot for them right now. But of course I'm not finding the ones I was looking for. I just found I think what I was looking for. It's just something I saw in a photo but I'm just in like by the, I don't know, every day. Picks. I think these were it. I grabbed a few. We have more up there. Different colors, but I think these were the ones I wanted to get. I think I need a few more though. They're only $1.49. I'll be back in just a short couple of weeks to record a big Hobby Lobby Christmas video, but I just, I need to finish my fall. My brain can't handle, I think, Christmas quite yet, but I'm just looking. I'm starting to just get ideas on what I want to decorate or how I want to decorate. <gasps> okay, nope, we're not doing Christmas today. I'm just walking through, but that will be coming up. Have my coffee going, but I'm back home. Can show you what I picked up. Walmart, Hobby Lobby, and then 
yeah, that I did not need, but that's Aldi, so I'll show that to you last. But Walmart, I just picked up this autumn mix. It has the candy corn and pumpkins. I can never decide if I had to choose between candy corn and pumpkins, so I really like the mix, so if you don't have to decide. And then I just grabbed one little bag of candy, maybe some for us, but trick-or-treaters, or we'll see. And then Macy, our 11-year-old, got me hooked on my cellar water. She keeps me up to date on what's cool to use. But anyways, I've been using a different one in this smaller like travel size. And then um, I wanted to try this vitamin C one to see which one I like better. There's so many like choices and options. So let me know which one of these you like the best, but I thought I'd give this one a go. This is a repurchase. My other one just ran out. And so I picked up a new one. It's called Always Almond. I think it's number one, two, three. Highly recommend this. Really pretty lip color. So, got that. I also did pick up the taper candles. I'm tempted to bring these back though now that I ran to Hobby Lobby and um, we'll see. I kind of like these too. They're a little bit different texture. They're like a ribbed, I don't know, they're really pretty. So, I have a bunch of options now there. Hot chocolate, I also grabbed, this is all for my recipe, which I think I'm going to get started earlier rather than later. So here pretty soon, once I finish my coffee, put everything away, um, we're gonna make, what is it? I don't even remember, but these are all the things that I needed. Some whole wheat flour, some rolled oats. I wanted to try something different. These are new protein oats. Coconut oil, pure pumpkin, got the syrup. This is actually um, cheaper than the Aldi one, so I'm glad I picked it up at Walmart. And it has good reviews. And then pumpkin pie spice. I think we have some, but I didn't want to risk it and get home and be like, dang it. The lighting is just awful today. It's so cloudy out. So I apologize if it's like super shadowy. The sun comes in on this side of the house later in the day. That's when it like really brightens up in here. So it's just, it's really dark. It's gloomy. It's fall. So anyways, did the Walmart thing. The recipe that I'm going to be making today is a healthy pumpkin bar recipe. It has like over a hundred five-star reviews. So I think it's going to be really good. I have really gonna switched up my eating habits and so just trying healthier options. Um, I'm looking forward to it. So I think this one is going to be more for me rather than, and my husband, rather than the rest of the family. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing that here a little bit later. Let me show you Hobby Lobby. They did not have any fall cups, so I just went back to the party section and found these, $2.99. So yeah, just a basic cup. They're a good size for kids though, and they're perfect for what I need them for. So grabbed those. I grabbed this glass canister. I think it's going to be my new little candy canister in the pantry. I love the wooden lid, it's uh, airtight. And I think I'm gonna put like all that candy corn and pumpkins that I just bought today. So I will need to clean that. I did grab just a mix of the candles. Uh, she gave to me, what were they, 40 or 50% off? I cannot remember. So it only cost $6 for six candles, which was great. So I did get some orange and I also got white, just have a variety. I think I'll use these over Thanksgiving as well. So just nice to have different color options and of course white work all year long. And then I was so excited to finally find these picks. I thought they were like long stems. I bet I've looked for these three times now and I finally decided to look in this section and I'm so glad I did. But yeah, these are going to be so pretty. Super happy about those. So the cart actually did pay off. I found what was on my list. So I already got groceries yesterday. These are so that's why this is so random. It's just like little things that I just like to get at Aldi. So just grab some more eggs, some more berries. Oh, birthday cards. I love buying cards at Aldi. They're $1.49 and they are so cute. I'm pretty sure Target has a gift bag that actually matches this. So I just grabbed the ones that I thought were cute to stash away for when the kids get invited to birthdays or if we wanna just send one in the mail. Had to grab a couple of more like boyish ones or for men too, but I just think they're so cute. So I grabbed some cards to add to my card stash. Turkey, more apple cider donuts just to have on hand. It's a little bit cold because I had it next to the pizzas, but I also wanted to try, I've never bought this before from Aldi, but just a risotto. I thought that would be a good side one night sometime. 
I love this stirring basil, especially when I'm making bruschetta or just a recipe that asks for fresh basil. I never have it when I need it. So this is just a good backup. And the last food item from Aldi, I picked up these pizzas. They got me, they look small, but I think the kids and I might actually eat these tonight. My husband's out of town. So yeah, the pumpkin pizza. We usually do the Papa, is it Papa Murphy's? No, Papa John's, Papa John's. I don't remember, Papa Murphy's. <laughs> we usually do that one on Halloween, but I thought this would just be a fun dinner to have with them. They might get a kick out of that. I think they're so cute. So yeah, we got the pizzas and then two non-food items. Well, those aren't food, I guess. I will not be eating the birthday cards. I will be doing just a little bit of Halloween decorating by our front door this year. I'll probably just share it in a vlog with you, um, but they had really cute pillows. They had ghosts, the ghosts, I don't know, they didn't look as cute as the others I'd seen in other stores, but the candy corn, I really liked the coloring of it. It wasn't like too like bright Halloween orange, if you know what I mean. So I picked up the candy corn pillow. How fun is that? It's a Sherpa pillow. And this I'm thinking will go on the bench by our front door. And then I also picked up a box of these Halloween bats. I was actually going to order the Kirkland's ones, but I saw these. $6.99 I think and this box is huge so I think that this will be more than enough for what I need to put by our door so yeah I was excited to find those those are on my list for Halloween decor that I needed to pick up I'm going to put this away drink my coffee and then I think we're going to bake those healthy pumpkin bars yeah that's what we're gonna do because then the house will smell really good, smell like pumpkin, and then I can do the decorating with you. So today I'm gonna be decorating our entryway. I have that front console table and just that bench area. I've been putting it off because I really didn't know what I wanted to do, but today I just, I just wanna get it done. So that is the plan for today. Out. hopefully it stays out at some point here in the next week or so I need to show you our view outside I'm gonna wait for the trees to turn just a little bit more but it is beautiful obviously it's our first fall here so I didn't really know what we were in for but the trees are turning there's a lot of like golden yellows right now and I'm waiting to see more orange and so yeah it's just beautiful outside when you look I I don't know it's just amazing so candy is for the more mostly the kids it's not for me but these bars I have a feeling are going to be all for me I will link the recipe down below I'm just going to jump in it basically just says to take all the ingredients mix it together and put it in the pan I'm like I can handle that
So I mentioned that this recipe is mostly for me and that is definitely true. However, I found it really funny because I actually found it on a kid's recipe website geared towards toddlers and kids, but I'm really excited for it for myself. I thought the list of ingredients was perfect. I don't know, it just sounded right up my alley with a lot of the other recipes I've been trying lately. So anyways, good for adults, but also for kids. Now I do plan to make this again. And when I do, I think I'm going to double the pumpkin pie spice. It was, um, it was fine, but I feel like maybe adding just a little bit more flavor to it would have really topped it off. So yeah, definitely going to make this again. It's a good one and I will have the recipe linked down below. Charlie is modeling my question for you. Oh, look at that ear. It's so cute. Are you so cute? I had to stop and take a picture of him. He looked so cute there. But the bars are done. I'm just letting them cool now for a little bit before we do a little bit of a taste test. They don't look appetizing, but they smell so good. Maybe once I cut them, they'll look a little bit nicer, but how cute are these oven mitts? I actually did not buy them to match with the blue, but they definitely go together. But I found these yesterday at Target when I was there. We've been in need of some new oven mitts ever since we moved, so I picked those up. I can link them so you get the oven mitt as well as like the pad, hot pad or whatever you want to call it as well. So fun. I mean, they're for fall, but... I mean, I'll probably use these year round outside of Christmas because I have special ones for Christmas baking and all that. So super cute. I'll link them down below, but I had a question on this runner rug. So this is actually from our old house. Some of you might remember it. It was in our laundry room or mud room. It's a ruggable. I didn't put the pad underneath it yet. I just rolled this out last night because I wanted to see what I thought of having this runner in the kitchen i mean it's almost the right length i wish it was just a tad bit longer but because i don't really want it longer than the island sticking out on the sides but gosh i wish it was so yeah you'll have to let me know what we think of this rug let me come to this side the next size up at ruggable is 10 feet this is seven so it would definitely go past the island, not by much. So I don't know, I feel like maybe just work with what I have for now, use this one because it's, I mean, rather new, all things considered. And maybe we can size up later. What do we think? It has green in it. Greens and browns, really pretty with the fall decor. So yeah, let me know. There we go. Let's give it a test. Oh, it's so warm. It smells kind of like a muffin. And I'll, I'm going to be 100% honest with you if I like these or not. Usually I don't like healthy things. But, so yeah, I will be very picky. Pretty good. Especially the chocolate chips make it. Mm-hmm. I can't even lie, I just stole another bar. So, they are good, they are good. I just wanna make sure, you know, if you're looking for a healthier alternative to some of the fall baking, they're definitely worth a shot. They're very good, and of course there's things you can add in, like nuts, I can't remember the other things that were on the list, but I just stuck with the exact recipe as it was shown, and yeah, chocolate chips, I may have upped it a little bit from a half a cup to three quarter, but other, I mean, very good. Time to get our 
entryway all decorated. And this is gonna be difficult with sun coming through the door. But you do get a shot of all the mums outside. It's so pretty looking out the front door. I just love it. Um, but here's what we're working with. I have the mirror, lamp, table. That will all stay. And then I also have this bench. And I think what I'm going to do is start on this side because I found a piece of wall art, finally, from Target that I want to hang up. So I have been super picky on what I hang on the walls here. We don't have a ton up yet, but I saw this piece at Target and I'm like, that's the one. And that's really what the feeling that I want to have like with the rest of the house. I'm trying not to rush and just buy things to fill it up. I want to make sure we love it. And so I don't put holes everywhere like I did in our other house. We don't want to go there. So this piece I love, I wasn't actually looking for it, but it is from Target. And if this does not scream, Crystal, I don't know what does. You all know what I like. Wall art, I bet some of you can guess what this is a picture of. Let me grab it. It's a barn. Yes, yes, yes. I have an obsession with barn art. And I think it really works in our area in South Dakota. I mean, we are surrounded by farms and barns, so it works really well. I love the colors. I mean, it's very neutral, so this will work really through all seasons. I'll probably switch it out for Christmas, but because that's what I do, we go all out. But for the rest of the year, I think this is going to be its home right above the bed. <laughs> Sherpa pumpkin, Hobby Lobby, I think last year or two years ago. The stem has came off, I've glued it back on. I think we're good to go. But I just like how soft it is. And I think I'm just gonna like prop it right there. I wanna leave some room on the bench. There's definitely more I could add to this if I really wanted to, but I do want this to be a place where someone can sit to put their shoes on or put their bag down when they come. So I'm just going to leave it as is for now. I mean, a vase could go in the corner with florals, but then we just get too much in this one little corner. I wanna leave it just like this. I do like how the black on the barn really ties in with the rug and the door. So I'm happy with that, like that. Now let's try to work on the other side. So I just have this lamp and mirror. I have not committed to hanging this mirror. I have commitment issues with it just because I might wanna go bigger someday. And mirrors are heavy and you have to put, it's just too much to hang onto the wall. Big holes, big holes. I bought this vase from Hobby Lobby. You probably saw it in one of my vlogs not too long ago. I don't know. Anyways, it doesn't matter. It's from Hobby Lobby. And in it, in that video, I put these Kirkland stems and I just left it because I liked it a lot. I'm just, and I was thinking I want to put it here. It's about the right size for this table. It's not too big, not too small. But as I bring, bring it out, no, it just seems so dark with the rug and the door and the black. It's almost too much. So I'm debating on if I want to rotate this with a different one in the house. The thought even crossed my mind to 
paint that vase, but I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna leave the cord right here for now. We're just pretending. start over. I'm gonna find a different base for this table. I mean lighter. I'm not decorating for Halloween yet. Sad because this is really where I want this one to go. First I'm putting this back. my pottery barn base from upstairs. It was just sitting on a lonely table. It wasn't really doing much up there. Now initially I couldn't use it because it was just, it's too big with the mirror on the table. But now that the mirror is off, I actually think it works. I'll just put it right there for now and we'll see. I have two, just two of these A floral stems left. And I like how it kind of pulls, it's not black, but it helps bring that darker element. I need to, oh, actually. Next, I have these candlesticks. Now, these are Amazon, very heavy. They are like Pottery Barn dupes. They're great. These are what I bought all those, uh, what are they called, paper candles for. I'm so sorry, I'm so tired today with the time change and everything, with traveling. I'm just like so like out of my loop right now, it's crazy. But I think I could put the candles in if I trim them, but I also like it just, I mean. Without candlesticks in there. We'll see, I'm gonna leave that there. Now maybe we do like a stack of books with a pumpkin on top and call her good. is decorated for now and I say for now because I have a little bit of homework I love how it looks I love the vase here I think that'll become a permanent deal on my on this table and then I love the stems the books actually you don't mind the candlesticks either but the lamp is it's just a little bit too similar to the vase for me you know it works for now but I'd like to I think switch it out um, this, I actually want to go in our living room, just right out here, because we need more light in there at night. It's getting darker earlier, so it would, it would definitely have a spot, but I don't know that I've seen the lamp either that I really like enough to buy it for this table, so. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think the lamp is too similar, or do you like how it is similar? I think it's a little crooked now, because I bonked it, but yeah. I do like it. I don't love it yet. So I do have a little bit of homework, probably not in today's video, but you never know. I actually need to leave to go pick up the kids from school here like in the next five minutes. And then the twins have eye appointments. So that'll take probably, I don't know, at least an hour I would guess, maybe longer by the time we get home. So I won't have any more time to work on this today. And I really don't have a lamp around the house. I want to move here. I just, I don't know, everything I like where it's at right now. So uh, that's my homework to try to find a new lamp. But in the meantime, I just want to let you know 
that I'm not 100% in love with it, but it's gonna stay there for now. And if I do find one, I'll share it in my fall home tour, which will be coming up later next week. I'll show all the changes I made, and I have a few areas that I haven't really shared with you yet in my Decorate With Me video. So that's coming up, as well as my travel vlog. And then we're gonna jump into Christmas. Planning, prepping, shop with me's, and all of that, which is crazy to think about, but it will be here, I mean, I mean, in a matter of a couple weeks, we're jumping into Christmas already. Crazy. We're back from the eye doctor. It took about an hour and a half. Almost two, really. It's almost 5.30. So I'm putting the pizza in. This ghost, I just took it out of the box. It's still frozen. He looks creepy. I mean, maybe you're supposed to, but he was cute on the box. Look at his mouth. But anyway, so we'll see how that goes. I'm losing it. I'm so tired. I'm just so out of it today. I'm so sorry. This vlog is kind of all over the place, but hopefully you've enjoyed it and found it entertaining. I did have an Amazon package show up though while we were gone. I can show you what I ordered. What is it? A Cheeto? A cheese curl? Yeah, I like cheese curls too. Okay, I'll show you what I ordered too, bud. Trying to take it out. Hopefully it doesn't break. What is that? I'll show you. Oh, glass. it's a uh, matches. It's a oh. match cloche. Isn't it cool? Can they light? Yeah. You can light it. Can I try it? There's a cork it? at the bottom to can, open it. Can I? No, try I'm not gonna let you try a match. But I thought that'd be fun in a candle arrangement. You could pick the color of the tips of the matches. I thought black would be. Of course, a good accent color. Do ghosts even have mouths? I mean, I don't know. This reminds me of Forky. It's like a Forky ghost, Madden. That's what it looks like to me. It looks better than it did Frozen, I'll, I'll say that much.